Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Hey, I mean, that feels good. Just be careful about burning, right? That elevated fire danger I was talking about. And then the rain's going to come in and provide some relief to all of that. So watch for that moisture to get pulled up towards the north from the Atlantic. And that's going to get lifted along that cold front, along with the warmth in place. That's going to help to trigger the showers and thunderstorms. So a few of those could reach severe limits, uh, primarily damaging winds. That will be the main form of severe weather if we get any, anything. But we could also get a couple of storms that produce some large hail. So it's not a huge risk for severe weather tomorrow, but there's a chance that a few could get there. So we'll watch that from Albany through New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, D.C., stretching down into uh, northeastern parts of North Carolina. Timing it out for you, we will see a few individual storms or clustering of storms out ahead of the main line. And look at that as we head into the afternoon. New York City, the model showing you getting pretty pummeled here by 2 o'clock. And then another line beginning to develop back behind it. That stretches southward towards Baltimore and D.C moves across to Delmarva, and then this whole line may uh, kind of bow out as it works its way offshore with some damaging winds that go along with that. Now, outside of the winds with the thunderstorms, it's going to be gusty on the back side of all of this and ahead of it as well, and that's going to help to usher in some of that cooler air that's going to sweep in on the back side of it. Also, what's going to help us to get some of that snow along with elevation, but just keep in mind that our temperatures are going to be a lot colder as we end our work week, and it's going to be feeling more bitter than that when you add a little wind as that brings a bit of a bite across the region. Something else too, Chris, by the way, is yeah. this is going to be a heavy wet snow. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We do have a little bit of leaf out, which has already begun. And with winds like this, we could have some spotty power outages. More so. surface area for the snow to collect. And that's when we get some weighed down branches yeah. and some bad news. Around here, um, Saturday's not going to be your best day for outdoor activities. And the storms will likely come in around. So you're going to get some early on, and then you're going to get some later on as well. The risk area, pretty extensive, starting from New Orleans, as we mentioned, up towards Birmingham, Destin, Apalachicola, Atlanta, uh, Columbus, Georgia, Columbia, South Carolina. Carolina, Savannah, Charleston, all the way up towards Wilmington. So it's a fairly large area that we're talking about that will have that risk. So the same trough, that same upper low is going to work its way off towards the east. We're going to have ample moisture in place flowing in out ahead of the system. And we're going to be back into the warmer sector. I know things feel pretty chilly right now across parts of the southeast and have been that way. But we're going to get a return of milder air and strong southerly flow coming in out ahead of it. Now, in addition to that, our winds aloft are going to be coming in at a different direction, pulling in from the west. So the winds will be turning with height, which enhances the risk for severe weather and provides that shear that we talk about, a critical uh, component for severe weather to happen, especially rotating thunderstorms. So all types of storms and severe weather hazards will be on the table. Tornadoes, damaging winds, and hail. So this is what the radar might look like on Saturday morning. Just to give you an idea, widespread showers and embedded thunderstorms all across the region. Now, we may see a line of storms developing here that rips in across the region and then additional development as we go on with time throughout the day. Notice those thunderstorms then working their way into the Carolinas, also down into the Florida Panda Handle with thunderstorms rocking through 5, 6, 7 o'clock as well. Once we head towards the evening and overnight, that will all pull out of here and we'll look for a drier end of the weekend. So it's kind of a half and half weekend, right? So plan your early part of the weekend being weather alert, weather aware, and maybe indoors. And then Sunday looks a little bit better for you in a place like Atlanta. Well, I love seeing those fist bumps <laughs> underwater like that. But I love it, Kevin, <laughs> when you can, you can take such an important project, something that's doing good, but also they're having fun yeah. while they're doing it. Absolutely, Jackie. That's so important, especially when you talk about